uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so today uh, we will solve uh, this circuit okay so we can see that here a normal rc cir uh, rc circuit is present okay so now we have to tell uh, uh, how many poles and zeros are there and their locations okay so we can see that uh, they are present to capacitor okay so the maximum number of pole can be two right so maximum number of pole can be two now but but like it, it the maximum pole is two so the pole may be one as well okay so we we need to check uh, how many uh, independent state variables are there okay so we can directly see that uh, the if we if we apply kvl in the first loop okay so we we can directly see that v in equal let this is vr1 so vr1 plus vc1 plus vc2 right so we can see that these two voltages like the state variables are independent of each other okay so the number of number of pole here is 2 okay number of pole here is 2 and to find the locations of the poles like this is bit complicated because this is a second order system right so this is a second order system so to find the poles locations of a second order system is not so easy so we can find in this way like if if this impedance network let's say this is rx okay so the network will get reduced to this right So this is our V out, this is R1, let's say this is Rx, this is V in and this is R3, right? So now if we write, like if we solve this circuit, this will be nothing but a normal voltage divider circuit, right? So we can directly find V out over V in, okay? So V out over V in, what will be the value? So V out over V in will be nothing but this Rx parallel uh, R3 divided by Rx parallel R3 plus R1, right? So now if, if you solve for this, like to get the poles, we know that the uh, denominator will be 0, right? So we have to equate this part to 0 and you will get a second order equation and we have to solve this. For We have to solve for S, okay? So this was for poles. Now, now comes like come to zero. Okay. So here there is two capacitor present, and we know that for zero, for zero, the output voltage is zero, right? Because the transfer function h of s is v out over v in, and it it is when it is zero, then we get zeros, right? Right? Like zero frequencies. So in this picture, we can directly see that we can directly see that if this voltage is zero, like when this voltage becomes zero, if this impedance is zero or this impedance is zero or this impedance is infinite, right? But in this case, we can see that this impedance can't be infinite because this is a R1, a, a constant and finite value. And this R3 also is a finite. Okay. So this, this impedance can go to zero at some frequencies. And that frequency is our zero frequency, right? So like if, if this goes to zero, right? Zero impedance. So this will be short circuit, right? And this is ground. So this ground become like this here. So our V out becomes zero, right? So if this if this impedance goes to zero so we have a zero right so when this goes to zero so we have this let's say uh, like uh, we have one minute let right here so we have this combination one over sc1 parallel r2 right plus one over sc2 equals zero so so if this condition is satisfied then we have zero right so now solve this solve this equation so this is nothing but 
and this will be nothing but r2 over on plus s c1 and r2 right equals minus on over s c2 so here we can find that uh, r2 s r2 c2 equals minus 1 minus s c1 r2 right so here we can directly find that s is equals minus 1 over r2 common c1 plus c2 right so this is our zero location so there is only one zero okay so in this circuit in this circuit So in this circuit, in this circuit, we have only one zero, right? And if, now to find intuitively, so we can see that if this, if this, if this impedance, if this, okay, one minute. So if this impedance goes to zero, so we have a zero, right? Now we can directly see that if this is zero, so this is ground, right? and this is ground so in this network we have to find the equivalent capacitor and equivalent resistance right so that we can write on over rc like r equivalent and c equivalent so that we can get a zero now we can see that this this output is ground and this is also ground and this is the common point of this two capacitor so the capacitor the, the two capa capacitor present in parallel right so the equivalent equivalent capacitance will be nothing but c equivalent will be nothing but c1 plus c2 as at both of the capacitor are in parallel right and there is only one resistance so c r equivalent is nothing but r2 itself so we can directly say from here the zero value is on over r2 into c1 plus c2 so in this way we can also find the zero value okay and 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 uh, here one thing is important here present two capacitor okay but there is only one zero okay you have to mind it okay so this this was for today if you like our video you can subscribe our channel and give your valuable feedbacks okay and coming to finding the transfer function so you can okay one minute So you can you can find the transfer function in this way okay so in this way you can find the transfer function and to equate this equation like to make to make this zero you will get zero and to make this zero you will get the two poles okay so thank you